everybody. Oh, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I'm okay. I feel like I'm getting sick coming down with a cold or something or else it's allergies. But if you, you know, I'm just going to warn you ahead of time. I'm very nasally. I'm stuffed. I have the nose running and I'm going to have to probably stop the video from time to time to blow my nose. I don't know what's going on, but I really needed to get these um, haul videos done because I was running out of room in my living room. I have stuff everywhere. I have been thrifting crazy, crazy. I went to um, the uh, Old Chapel Antique Mall. I went to the Mill Antique Mall. Uh, I already filmed my video for the haul from um, the Old Chapel Antique Mall uh, right before this one. So you will see that I have the same clothes on in both videos because I'm filming them back to back because I need to get them done. So the haul that I'm going to show you right now is from the um, Mill the old mill. Uh, I spent a ton of money there as well. Uh, I know it was, oh dear. Uh, another 300 at least, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but. I got some amazing stuff, just saying. Got some amazing stuff. I have a box of stuff here and a huge box down here on the floor. I went through earlier, unwrapped everything, got all the stickers off and got it all ready for the video. So let's get into it because I have quite a bit of stuff to share with you. Um, I know that it was like, I'm pretty sure, I know it was over 300, but I don't know the exact amount. I don't have my receipts with me at the moment. Let me start with this cute little girl. Uh, this one is Wednesday's Child. And this one is in perfect condition. In my last video, I showed one. Uh, where her little streamers were broken off, like the center, and then there was just the bottom parts left, <laughs> um, which I didn't realize until I was showing it that that was the issue. But this little girl, she doesn't have any issues. Um, all of her flowers are intact. Her wings are intact. All of her spaghetti detailing is good to go. So she is in great condition. Got this amazing horse planner. Oh my God, isn't he beautiful? Look at him. I love, it's got such great detailing. What a beautiful planter, right? Uh, and it is, <coughs> oh, beg my pardon. What does it say? Napco wear. It is Napco wear. He is awesome. I found some Moon and Stars, Ellie Smith. I got this beautiful little amber basket. I love the handles on this one. Very, very cool. Just taking the bubble wrap out. I found this 
awesome. This is either an Alaskan Malmute or it's uh, some type of a Husky. Look at this dog. This is an awesome statue, I think, or figurine, whatever you would like to call it. It's a figurine, I guess. <laughs> um, he's in excellent condition. No, no chippies, nothing, not even any crazing. Um, I do not know where he was made. He's not marked, but he is awesome. Found this really cool antique uh, lipstick holder. Now you can see the patina going on on the top compared to the sides. The sides are not as bad with the patina, but a lot of people like that. Um, the bottom is gorgeous. It's got some patina going on there too, but just a really, really pretty piece. Look at the, the angels for the feet. So cool. So cool. Uh, I got it. This is so cute. I love it. I love it. This will probably end up being an offer up item in a live sale. Would you look at this little piano baby? Look at that face. Just adorable. We have butt crack. We have baby butt crack going on. <laughs> oh, how cute. Look at those little cheeks. Oh, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> then I got this uh, Siamese cat figurine. He's awesome. He's in excellent condition. He has no issues that I saw at all, which means nothing because y'all know I'm blind. But Sophie, no, 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 no. Hi. Hi, Maxie. Max is up here beautiful condition and it's that awesome satin finish that I love so much so we got that I said no no you're not climbing on the table oh you guys I'm telling you I don't know I said, no, here she comes. She does not listen either. You take right after your brother. You don't listen at all, young lady. At least she's not showing her butthole, just the tail. Yes, I know, you wanna be petted. Hello, hi, hello, how are ya? What do you hear? All right. Some more Ellie Smith. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous basket. I just um, sold one of these in an offer up in my last sale that was pink. And it was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. And if I find another one, I'm keeping it because it was gorgeous. But this one is amber. Hi, Soph. What's up? What are you doing? She's smelling the box. Hi. What's up? Hello there. Hi. I got this little figurine. I just thought it was really cute. Listen. <laughs> she shoves her, hand, her head under my hand like, here, pet me now. Pet me now. Listen. Come on. How cute is that? I just love this. Now... There is a little teeny 
boo-boo on this one flower. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it very well. But other than that, beautiful little figurine. I love it. Um, it's, I'm sure it's a Japan piece. It's very lightweight. So, um, I would bet my bippy that it's uh, a Japan piece. And Sophie is just not going to leave me alone. Binks is in there sleeping on the chair. Hi, Soph. Okay, excuse me. Um, I did get quite a few, um, crackle vases and they're beautiful. Let me... Let me just pull these out of this box. Eh, whatever. So I got this gorgeous one. Olive green with this beautiful applied handle. Look at that. So pretty. So we got that one. I got this little short amber one. Short and stout. <laughs> Also with an applied handle. I got, oh, these two are my favorite. And where is my light? I know these glow. Oh, heck yeah. Look at these. Beautiful Amberina. Ooh wee. Gorgeous. And then we have this one. The rim is glowing beautifully. That's about it. Looks like just the rim. I love these two vases. I'm like, I'm starting to have a new obsession. Well, I always liked crackle vases to begin with, crackle glass. But I'm starting to really want to be able to have a collection of these in different colors. I would love to put them in a window. However, my, my window sills or whatever, you know, the top parts are not wide enough. I would be so afraid they would fall off and break. But it's like there's got to be a different way that I can display these so the light hits them. They're just gorgeous. And it's like, I don't know I, if I wanna sell them because they're so pretty. I gotta stop. All right, and then I got this really big. This one, uh, I think had a, uh, it actually, I know it had a stopper at one time because it's frosted right here. Um, but it does not have it anymore, but it has that beautiful applied handle. Uh, there's the ponto mark on the bottom. And this is a nice size one, that's big. So I got that one. Um, and then I got this beautiful, look at this, hobnail. Look at this vase. I love the color, of course. Um, it's just gorgeous. I don't know. It's probably Fenton. I would almost bet my Bippy. I don't know where, where, where the hell am I getting my Bippy from? You bet your Bippy. Where did I hear that from? I have no idea. I'm losing my mind. Just y'all don't pay no attention to me. But anywho, we got this gorgeous beauty. I'm going to put that up there. Um, then I got this beautiful piece of cranberry glass. It's got like this pretty footed uh, bottom, not footed, pedestal type bottom. Gorgeous. It's got a pretty design on there too. Sophie, can you take a break, please? Um, I got this beautiful red one, ruby red glass with the applied clear glass design. I have a gold one. I have a gold one very similar to this. I think I just sold it. I'm not sure. 
beautiful. Does this glow by any chance? Oh, the, the tips do. The tips do. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, my glow. And then I got this really pretty cobalt blue. It's a top hat ashtray. I just, y'all know how I feel about cobalt blue. I love it. It's beautiful. So, I will now, pardon me, I'm just going to stand up a minute and I'm going to put all of these back in the box so I can transport them into my eBay room easier. Um, so go ahead, grab yourself something to drink, you know, whatever, while I'm doing this. Or, you know, you can fast forward. <laughs> Whatever you feel you need to do. Put this in here. All right, this little guy can go in there. All right, so let me put my bubble wrap in here and place these other pieces on top. All right. I don't want anything breaking. I will be extremely upset. Um, I have another piece here on the table that I want to show you as well. Let me move this box over here. Ugh. So the other stuff is in a box down here on the floor. So I'll be just reach down and grab the pieces. But I did buy this. And I'm so glad that I have these extra pedestals for these. Look at, look at, it's Elvis. I love Elvis Presley. So, so cool. I love it. So of course this will be uh, for resale and I will include the, the pedestal. So I, I love that. Love that. All right, let me have a sip of my iced tea and we will get moving. Okay. This is a hull, H-U-L-L, -L, pottery piece. And apparently it is a gravy boat. How cool is that? Now, I don't know if I would use this as a gravy boat. Uh, I mean, you could, you absolutely could, but I think I would probably just use it as, a, you know, for a plant or cashews or cheese, uh, air plants, whatever. It's really pretty. I love the coloring. It's like a mandarin orange color. Tangerine. Where the heck did I get mandarin orange from? I meant to say tangerine. But, yep, there it is. I just thought it was very unique. And I really, really, I like unique things. So, I picked it up. I got this really pretty tin. And it's actually uh, 3D, it is raised, and it is, uh, what does it say? Made in Holland. Um, it's really an excellent shape, look at the inside. And the outside is in excellent shape as well. Look at that. This is a gorgeous tin. Beautiful. It reminds me of Wedgwood, of the blue Wedgwood. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Gorgeous piece. I love it. Um, I got a lady head vase. She 
she's pretty. I love the color. I love the green. She's very pretty. She's in great condition. There's no issues. She's very clean. Uh, she might be Royal Copley, which I believe she is. So I got her. Then I got this piece. Um, this booth was having a 20% off sale. And I'm like, this is really, really cool. Look at this candle holder. Isn't that pretty? So different. And it's got writing on the back here. But I really can't make it out. So I'm not even going to like attempt it. But that's the back. And I just think it's like so cool. Love it. Then I purchased this cute little creamer and sugar set. It's definitely not vintage. Uh, it was made in China. Um, it's just really cute. <laughs> so this is the sugar bowl. It's got a spot for your spoon. And here is uh, the little creamer. Look at that face. How could you resist that? He's got a teeny weeny little um, chip right there. Easy fix. Absolutely adorable. Oh, let's push those over there. All right. Then I got this. I got another fairy lamp. This is Fenton. I love the ruby red glass again, and it has this beautiful crystal bottom. It has, uh, I would assume these are holly leaf and berries. Gorgeous, it's in excellent condition. There's no issues at all. So that's a beauty right there. I had a candle that I could have put in here, but I don't, I left it over on the counter. All right, let me remove my bubble wrap off of here. Okay, next I got this beautiful hand-blown lemon yellow and white swirl Bud vase. Look at that. Does that not scream summer or spring? Just gorgeous. Look at that. All right. I am going to pause and blow my nose. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I'm sorry. I am back. <laughs> okay. Then I got this gorgeous another Fenton. Um, and this actually matches my stuff over there. Oh my gosh. I have to stop keeping stuff. Look at this. Look at this beautiful vase. Oh my gosh. I, I, this is my new favorite blue. I love this color blue. It's gorgeous can see the Fenton. Well, maybe you can't. It's very hard to see on the bottom there, but you can, I guess you could see it. I love this. I might be keeping it. I don't know. Don't be mad, Paula. I got this real pretty, uh, it's actually an ashtray. Uh, and I'm sure it's made in Japan. It could be left in, but it doesn't have its sticker. It has that pretty iridescence to it. 
and it's got your holly leaves, berries, and pine cones. But you don't have to use it as an ashtray. You could use it for anything you want. You could put a candle in there. I mean, come on. That is so pretty. You could put like little miniature um, mercury bulbs in there. I mean, oh my gosh, that would be so pretty. Gotta think outside the box. Um, I did get a, a few sets of salt and pepper shakers. Let me pull these out really quick. These are my favorite though. These are just gorgeous. The color, oh my God, I love these. Love these. These are made in Japan and these are in excellent condition. Like, I mean, excellent. Look at these, look at absolutely no paint loss anywhere. A beautiful mint green color with the, let me put them this way so I can turn them. These gorgeous flowers. Oh my God, and the shape. They are just beautiful as far as salt and pepper shakers go. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these, absolutely. Uh, let me put those over there. Then I got these little mini, um, <laughs> these are little mini salty and peppies. Look how cute they are. They're adorable. <laughs> they still have their made in Japan sticker on there. I couldn't pass those up. Those are so cute. And then, oh my goodness, look at this. This is, <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's a Sears catalog. And I'm not sure what this is. Like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It kind of looks like a door, like door and windows. Is this supposed to be like the Sears store? And then this is, oh, it says Sears catalog and outhouse. That's okay. So you're reading the Sears catalog while you're um, taking care of business. <laughs> so there you go. That is unique if I ever saw it. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. I found a uh, Westmoreland fairy lamp. This is gorgeous, still has the sticker on it. I love, here we are again with this blue. I love it, still has the sticker on there. Look at that, perfect condition. Not an issue at all. Beautiful. Um, I found an Indiana glass fairy lamp. Diamond point, amber color. Again, perfect condition. Perfect. It was fairy lamp day. Oh my glow. <laughs> this gorgeous Fenton, oh my God, pedestal, candy dish, compo, it's whatever. Whatever you want to call it, it is gorgeous. This matches the fairy lamp I just sold um, in my sale on Wednesday. Gorgeous custard glass. Perfect condition. That's what I'm talking about. 
Another Fenton piece. Yipper. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. This one, this one doesn't glow though. But it is transfer on their transfer wear. Uh, still has the Fenton sticker on the inside. Very cool piece. Love that. Uh, let's see. I, this, I love this. This is beautiful. Uh, it does have a little bit of paint loss, but it's very, very old. It is Nippon. Uh, hand painted. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? That gorgeous bluebird. You got the little bit of paint loss over here on the grapes, but you could touch that up. That could be touched up. Just beautiful. Look at that. The colors are gorgeous. Oh, I, I fell in love with this when I saw it. It was the bluebird that, that sold me on this little dish. Just gorgeous. There's the marking on there. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Yep, we're showing the glow. We are showing the glow. Mm-hmm. This beautiful basket well, basket weave, I should say, uh, bowl. Look at that. Uh, it does have a teeny weeny little flea bite. Where was it? I know I saw it. Where are ya? Oh, right here. I think it was right here. Right there. Um, uh, that was it. That, just that little, uh, little boo-boo. Yep. Uh, yeah. So definitely had to pick that up. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Got this beautiful cranberry. This is Fenton as well. Look at that with the hobnail. It's just, it's like a, I'm sure that something went in here. Uh, you could put a pillar candle in here. It would be gorgeous. Uh, no glow. Oh, darn. But yeah, um, this would be beautiful. I'm wondering if this actually went to a fairy lamp or something. Um, but I'm not sure. It's it's beautiful though, nonetheless. It would make a gorgeous candle holder. So I grabbed that. I got this for myself. And trust me, I did pay up for this. I because I loved it so much. You don't find a lot of uh Niagara Falls stuff that's that says Niagara Falls in New York. It's usually Niagara Falls, Canada. And this one is Niagara Falls, New York, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I paid $18 for this plate. It's Homer Lachlan. Oh, I didn't even realize that. And it was hand-painted, and it's dated 1962. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I absolutely love it. And this is going to go in my Niagara Falls collection. So, yes, this is this is mine. Oh my goodness. Bring this up here. 
that this just because I thought it was just beautiful. Um, I have no idea who makes it, but it's this, look at this beautiful vase. Isn't it pretty? I love the colors. So like pastel, perfect for spring. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love it. No markings on it. It just says LR on the bottom. So I have no idea, but it's just gorgeous, I think. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my glow. Oh, my glow. Look. This is the sunflower cake plate. It doesn't want to show good today for some reason, but yes, it is gorgeous. This is my little flashlight that I take with me in my purse that I didn't think I had with me, <laughs> but yes, it's in excellent condition. Uh, there are no no uh, major issues. Um, there is a teeny tiny little flea bite right there on the inside of this rim on the bottom. But other than that, it's perfect. Just perfect. I actually, I don't even see any um, like major um, utensil marks or anything like knife marks. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I got these salt and pepper shakers. I just thought these were so pretty. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Obviously, a lot of gold is missing off the tops, but I think it kind of looks cool with the gold just in the holes. I think it looks kind of neat. Um, yeah, these are beautiful and these are, uh, hand painted. These are Nippon as well. So those are oldies, definitely oldies. So, hi, you're back. I got this little dog figurine because he's just so cute. And obviously he did have little, uh, Oh, wow. Talk about side eye. He did have some little puppies that went with him, but they're long gone and the chain is still hanging. But look at that side eye. <laughs> He's like, hmm. Look at him. <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> She's trying to get the chain. What are you doing? That'll get stuck in your nails, Goofy. No, that's not for you. <laughs> no, you can't have that. Then I got these. These are so cute. These are baskets of oranges. And they're salt and pepper shakers. They're made in Japan. They are so cute. I love them. It was a it was a salt and pepper shaker day. I don't know. Oh look, and then the pepper spilled. There's pepper still in there. And it poured out inside of here. Oh well. <coughs> this is a gorgeous piece. We we are glowing. We are glowing. OMG. Ruby red Fenton, but look at that. Can you see can you see that glowing the orange? Look at that. Oh, wow. Is it glowing down here at all? No. It's just up in the in the lid. Look. There it is, see? 
Oh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bowl. I mean, oh my word. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely going to be an offer up item as will the fairy lamps will be offer up items. Um, the lady head vase. Um, probably, probably uh, this as well. This will be an offer up item. So, uh, and, and then this last item that I'm going to show you is also going to be an offer up as well. I'm just checking. I check everything now because you just, you just don't know. Uh, I got this gorgeous Ellie Smith moon and stars candy dish. Excellent condition. It's that pretty light blue, lighter blue color. Gorgeous. I love this piece. And this, of course, will also be an offer up item as well. Oh. So, uh, that's everything. Yeah. That is everything, guys. Um, I think I got some fantastic pieces uh, for, for what I spent. And... I absolutely love every single piece I got. You y'all will have to let me know in the comments um you know what was your favorite piece that I picked up. I I mean I have several but I would have to say really I have to say my favorite piece is this. I just love this this piece right here for me to spend eighteen dollars on this you know i have to love it um it's i just think it's beautiful i could not pass that by i passed it by a couple times and then finally i said i don't know why you just don't go get it so i talked to myself all the time so i did i went and i got it and that was it and i even told um <clears throat> don i said this is for me. I said, I'm treating myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that is my favorite. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for me for this video. Um, as I said, this is my second video that I recorded for today. Um, I have a sale tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. So I have to finish getting ready for that. But actually, I would like to just take some cold medicine and go lay down for a little bit because I feel pretty crappy right about now, I have to say. So I think that I might do that and just finish my sales stuff tomorrow morning when I get up while I'm having my coffee. So um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, if you are new to my channel and this is your first time stopping by, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. And, uh, if you are a regular subscriber friend of mine, thank you for coming back again. I really appreciate all of you so much. And, uh, I, I don't know. I just love you all very, very much. You make my day. I love doing videos for all of you. So, uh, I just, I just love you. That's all I can say. All right, guys, I will catch you, uh, in my next haul video and in my sale tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Bye guys.